coronavirus pandemic has not only increased things like building materials, but there's also another reason why it'll cost you more to buy a brand new home. But that's the number one thing is finding good lots at a reasonable price. Pete Ryan, owner of Ryan Legacy Builders, is on one of his final inspections at this home in a subdivision in Newmarket. This $750,000 home would have been much cheaper to build pre-pandemic, but now new houses are much steeper in price thanks to finding land at a good deal and fewer houses on the market. And so what's happened over the last, let's say, nine months to 12 months is people kept buying and inventory was being shortened up. Because of that, the, the supply and demand aspect, um, materials went up. He says lumber costs alone have gone up 100%, a challenge when builders are negotiating new construction costs. The third generation home builder says in all of his years of building homes, he's never seen it like this. And with the rising cost of lumber, Ryan says the entire cost of a home increases, in many cases, as much as 10%. And so not only were the lumber companies raising their prices, but everybody else tries to do that too. Another reason, existing home availability is tight. There are simply not a lot of homes on the market for sale and a lot of potential buyers. Ryan says he didn't see this coming. In fact, he thought there would be a slowdown, but the opposite happened. So it is a snowball effect where pricing is going way up. So when, it, when we hit the, 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 the top, I don't know whether it's one year or two years or, uh, but again, it is cyclical. One other thing that might keep prices increasing, low mortgage rates. And for buyers, that's definitely a step in the right direction. In Frederick County, Phil Yakabuski, WBAL-TV, 11 News.